end up kind of like this, you know? Okay, so it will um, end up like how I have it now. Base, yes, yeah. Okay. It might have, um, for, for a period of time, you might have like a slightly more like blushy, gold hue okay. to, the, to the color, but it, you, the sense of the pinkness and the dustiness and the rosiness will be mostly gone. And, okay. uh, and you'll have just like kind of like a hint of, um, of tonality in there left. Okay. Now, what I typically tell people is to allow it to be deeper, allow it to be stronger, uh -huh. um, and just enjoy the pop, yeah. knowing that, like with 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 playful color, um, the, the usual approach, um, and and often it might be the second time that we do this because it is like a, a big change. Okay. But the usual approach is you make it a little stronger initially, you enjoy it just being a little crazy fun. Mm -hmm. And then the bulk, the idea is that the bulk of the time in between our sittings, mm. it's exactly how you like it. Got it. And then by the end, it's just like kind of barely there. Okay. Um, what's not fun is like getting, is going to the hairdresser and like two weeks later, it's like. It's gone. Gone. So and, I And think, that's going to depend on yeah. how often you wash your hair, okay. whether you're in the sun, yes. the kinds of products you're using. Okay. So if you can use dry shampoo and you're not washing your hair that much, if you wash your hair two times in two weeks, then. It's gonna be there, so yeah. you know. Okay. So that's really the the relevant part to that. Okay, so I don't want to do too dramatic. I yes. want to kind of ease into it first, and then get used to it, and then maybe come back and then yes. do it more. Yes, I agree. Okay. So what I would recommend on that note, um, if we're gonna do kind of this blushier, dustier, lighter color, mm -hmm. is leaving out a little bit of. Um, blonde around okay. her face okay and we can just kind of tie that in we can just connect it like just for like a couple minutes okay um so you have so that even has like a natural feel so you mm -hmm. don't feel like you dipped your hair in okay. pinkness okay. you know so there's like a, a sophistication to it sure um just based on placement and that can be like a variety of things when we um do decide to intensify it if you're really loving it and we want this to last longer on the next sitting, we could have it be a little more intense um, on this under part and it uh -huh. could be like a gradation kind of thing, like a little bit of an ombre feel. Okay. So it would be like brighter, more intense, mm -hmm. lighter, lighter, you know, and still like kind of blondie around your face. So again, okay. like, you, you, the idea is you don't want your color to look like you went to Sally's and did it yourself. You know, <laughs> yeah, you know, or like, like I did it myself. I'm here for that house. purpose of right. like giving it some sophistication. Per well, I trust so, you, so. Yeah. Yay. Yay. Okay. Oh awesome. Um, oh let's roll. God. Okay, cool. Any more questions? I don't think so. Okay. I mean, I just okay. kind of videoed some of the process. Yeah, totally. Okay, yes. cool. I'll be right back. Thank Two you. Uh -huh. Okay. So I'm getting some pink basically put into my hair and it's going to be more like a rose gold uh, but I want to document this process in case you're considering doing this. Um, I definitely recommend going to a stylist or an expert, somebody who knows what they're doing and um, yeah, I'll document the process and we'll see how it goes. Now we're um, just checking on the color. It's similar to a stain, so it intensifies over time. The longer you leave it on, the darker and more intense it's going to be. Um, so we left out your um, hairline here of these lighter pieces, and we're gonna incorporate those um, just at the very end to give them just like a hint of color, okay. um, but let them be lighter and have that softer dimension around your face, so it just feels a little more Sophisticate, uh, a little less like you just uh, dumped your head in some uh, pretty pink. <laughs> in a vat of pink? Yes, yes. Okay, cool. So just a little waiting game here till we have it the way we like it. Yay! Okay, just waiting to warm up. angle, my chin looks super big. <laughs> There'd be more pink in the in the bowl. Oh no! It's pretty, somewhat subtle. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love it. Okay, I'll be back later with the finished product. 
gonna do like a time lapse so we can speed it up. So here's the final product. Um, I actually like it a lot more than I thought that I was going to. Um, I think Rory did an amazing job and that's why he's one of the best stylists or colorists here um, in Austin. So if you're thinking about getting pink hair, definitely talk to a stylist. Uh, show them some pictures of what you want. I did show him some pictures that I saved on Pinterest and so that's how he was able to determine how much pink to add and obviously this is gonna fade out he said into like a dusty rose like rose gold pink and then obviously eventually it'll just go back to normal after a couple washes so um, yeah let me know what you think in the comments below have a good one